Brain Games Books and Printables Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel. Today I am reviewing Ike Pazza's and Luke Bowser's new software. Now it launches today on the 26th of July 2024 and the launch price is still there until the end of July 29th. Uh, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, what is this? This is a new piece of software that actually does what's called logic puzzles or math duco puzzles. And it's basically creating calc duco and sudoku puzzles. Now, there are a front end and there's a pro version and there's some other OTOs, but I will be going through those as going through those and I will also show you it working on both Windows machine and an Apple Mac machine because you can purchase it, purchase the software and it, it's basically got software for both um, machines, whether it's a Mac or a Windows machine. It is not web based so it is on your own computer so if your internet goes down or anything like that you can still be creating these puzzles because they've been created to actually run on your machine. So you can create these products pretty quickly. In the front end, you can you you can create like uh, puzzles that are PNG, JPEG, PowerPoint, and also PDF. Although you're only limited to 99 PDF uh, printouts in the front end. Now the front end is $37. You're also limited with a couple of other things like. Um, on some of the puzzles, you can only do certain functions, which is add and plus. But if you go for the pro version, you can do the more advanced uh, cal duco calculations with the plus, the minus, plus, minus, and a multiplication and divide. So there's different things there. But in the front end, you've still got the ability to do the plus and the subtract and you can um, make your puzzles different grid sizes. You can also make them very simple for kids or you can make them extremely hard for adults or extremely intelligent Mensa grade kids. So you've got that facility there. You can do a combination of puzzles so you can do plus and minus as well in the front end. So that should get you started. There's also over the shoulder training that you get from Ike where he walks you through creating and using the software to actually create your books. And then he takes you through, um, if you do the PDF way of actually um, using Canva to put your book together and then using free software to put the different PDFs together but I'm offering a bonus where I show you how to do all that in Publisher without going and looking for any PDF software to actually put it all together because you can just put PDFs in Affinity Publisher and put them all together using Affinity Publisher. So that'll be my bonus. Um, so this is the sales page. The link will be down in the bottom. Yes, it's an affiliate link. And like I say, if you purchase through my bonus, you'll actually get this, how to create KDP Math Duco puzzle books with Affinity Publisher using this very software. Now I haven't put the image on because I haven't finished um, creating it at the time of filming this, but it will be as soon as you see the review it will be ready um so that is basically the sales page again you need to check it out come and read it you can create amazon kdp books you can sell it on etsy it's great for teachers pay teachers great for people that have got the kids home for summer great for homeschooling as well to to improve math skills because that's what sudoku and calc do do code does it improves math skills um you can it comes out as a pdf format basically as a book virtually you just need to add like your front cover add some instructions but in the training i goes through how to actually do that how to add all your instructions and add all the extra pages that you need so it's a great piece of soft software so let's actually dig in so you can actually see what I mean so this is the Windows version now I am running this through parallels 
in the Windows version and then I'll show you the Mac version. Now in the front end you do not get the bulk import uh, compile images but you get the calc do code generator and you get the sudo sudo generator as well sudoku it would help if I could say the word sudoku but you don't get the jigsaw sudoku generator and the akiri generator that is in the pro version which is $79 so let's go and check out the first part so I can show you what you actually get so let me just click OK and it brings it up okay so you'll see that there's the grid size here and you can go all the way from 4x4 four 5x5 four, five five, all the way down to 15x15 15 15. now 15x15 15 15 would be aiming at adults and again there's the email support and how to video I had an error user error not design error and uh, Luke walked me through that so that is really good so um, doing a kids one maybe in fact four by four now you'll see on here it says operators to use now because I've got the pro level and um, I have got all the extra ones but you would have plus and you would have plus minus in the front end which is $37 then if you added the pro level which would then take you to a total of $114 because the pro level is 77 then you would have all of these included so I'm going to set the plus and the minus um, I'm not going to set any set maximum total and then you can choose your step size so how many steps you want and what number do you want the Latin square to start at now Luke and both Luke and I both explain this in the training basically what it means is the lower the number the easier the puzzle the higher the number the harder the puzzle so I'm going to keep it low because I want it aimed at kids how many puzzles do you want to generate I only want to generate 15 um, I'm going to leave this one down and I'm going to start the sequencing number from one because uh, I think zero is a bit weird and I'm going to do math do code math do code solution and I'm also going to change and you can change your height here as well if you're doing PNG JPEG you can have SVG as well PDF now you'll see mine says unlimited but um, if you have the front end you only get 99 you can have basic settings or you can go to advanced settings where you can change what you want with the gutters and things like that or you can just bring it back and again change your different sizes these are all the common sizes of um, eight and a half by eleven these are all the common sizes that you get with uh, KDP if I'm doing a kids book I want it quite big so that they can see and I might actually change that puzzle title to Calc Duco. Calc Duco. And it's basically remembering what I had before. Oh, not spelling that right. You. And I put the word solutions in there. Have I spelled that right? Yep. I'm going to go for PDF uh, and I'm going to click save as and then it brings it up here I'm going to click downloads and you'll see I've already got a file called Calc Duco but I'm going to change that I'm going to put this one in as well but I'm going to call this kids Calc Duco kids 4 by 4 I'm going to click save and then I'm just going to click generate and you can also change the uh, fonts so all the common fonts that are there it might even be the fonts that's on my computer no I think it's the common fonts so I'm going to keep it at Arial uh, again you can have advanced settings as well um, you can choose your grid line so if you were doing printables you could change your color and in fact they do talk about changing the color on one of the puzzles to yellow 
and I think that's more in the pro version. Um, so I'm just going to click generate and then you'll see that it progresses. And it should appear. Okay, so the puzzle's been generated. So I'm going to click here and it's going to pop up huge over there. So there we go. And I've made a mistake. I can tell you exactly. I did not put the title in. So I'm just going to go back and put the title in. Let me get rid of that one. There's all tabs. It was here. I didn't put show title. Okay. Show title. So make sure you put that in. And then click generate again. Okay. There we go. So that has saved over my old file as well. So you can see it starts from the number that I said and then it goes all the way down. And it's that, that one is nice and simple. But again, I've made it one puzzle to each, one solution to each page. That would be too much for a book. For a principle, you could probably do that. But again, even then, I wouldn't be happy with that. So here where you see it says puzzles per page as one, we can change that so it's per page. Let's do four and then we'll generate again. And again, it's saving over. And then I'll go to the map one and we'll do the Sudoku on there. Okay. So let's have a look here. So we've got that right at the beginning there. Let's go down to solutions. There we go. We've got four solutions and we've got eight and a half by 11. So that's the PDF over and done with. You could then go in and do your front end on Canva or any software like that. But I'll show you in my bonus how to actually take all the different puzzles and bring them together, even if you're using PDF, in fact, using the PDF to then create your puzzle without having to upload every single image separately, although you could use data merge for that. So let's go to uh, the Mac version and then I'll come back to showing you more stuff. So you'll see here, again, there's uh, the bigger version and I'm going to click, I think I can make it any bigger. So I'm going to again make that for kids. I'm going to do very easy. Um, how many puzzles? Again, I only want 15. I'm going to do Stoker, Stoker Solutions. Again, I'm going to go to the PDF and this time I'm going to go to 8.5 by 11. And again, I'm going to remember to do page 4. I'm going to click Save As. I don't want it in my documents. I'm in my downloads at the moment. I'll go and save that. Again, making sure I'm fully right. It's four by four. And I'm going to click save. And I'm going to click generate. That has generated and it's appeared in my documents. So again, I'll bring it. And again, you'll see that I've made a mistake. I didn't put show title, so I'm going to minimise that. It's a good job I've got the um, unlimited generate. But if you went with just the front end, you've still got PNG, JPEG, SVG and PowerPoint. So don't let that stop you um, from doing that, because if you've got PowerPoint, if you haven't got PowerPoint, you can always use um, Google Slides or the free open office version to edit your work. That's not bad. Now open it up. There we go. 
And again, I made that mistake of zero, but that doesn't matter. I will correct it. But as you can see, it's a simple version. So what number is missing there? Well, it's clearly number four is missing there. And then number one is missing there. And number three is missing there. So I can solve it because <laughs> I'm, I'm an adult. So, But um, it's a great start. You could do it for beginners. You could do it for seniors. Uh, you could do it for anybody that struggles with stoker which you know if you're not good at maths or you've got um dyspraxia or you've got dyscalculus these could help with those types of things so that's the sales page there that you've seen and then i wanted to show you the up upgrade so if you go for pro Remember, you have to purchase the front end, which is $37. Then you get Pro, which is $77. And that's got the extra puzzles in the Akira puzzle creator, the jigsaw puzzles. And you can create different multiplication puzzles with all the different um, operanders in them, rather than just plus and subtract. You can then be creating uh, multiplications, divide, all that and you can also have unlimited pdf uh, amounts there as well so this at the time during launch is 77 i don't know what it goes up to after launch and you'll see that this is um luke and that is ike there so and because i think luke's in the uk and ike's in japan you will have support pretty much all the time. I know I usually speaks to me early in the morning and Luke was speaking to me last night at I think 10.30 UK time which was quite late. So um, they are there, they're there to support you. I have bought a lot of software over the years from Luke um, even though some of the software he created wasn't for Mac I've run it through Parallels but this time he has actually created a version for Mac. I've used his PowerPoint software that he did create for Mac. So I'm, I'm always impressed with the stuff that Luke creates and I'm always impressed with the stuff that Ike also creates and I know the support is there 100%. And then again, this is um, the next OTO or upgrade is uh, two. And that is $67. This is where Ike actually walks you through training you on how to actually um, run penny ads to increase your sales. Because if you're not going to do ads to make money with selling books on KDP, you have to do a lot of um, social media like TikTok and things like that and build your audience up that way. So you're not going to sell books without at some point either doing social media ads uh, well social media or running kdp ads you you the audience is there but you have still got to direct them to your specific books so this training is pretty good because he teaches you how to do it for pennies rather than um wasting money basically and paying a lot of money because you don't want to pay a lot of money and the trouble with amazon ads is what you're spending on the ads doesn't reflect the true royalty amount of money that you actually get and if you're like in the uk or europe you also get charged vat on top of your ad spend so you need to be aware of that and then the final oto is oto3 and this is a done for you get your covers done for uh, the brain game book covers so um amazon tests so they could talk about amazon testing your book for new so they do they sort of push new books as well to see how quick they sell so covers sell books um they are the eye to the they are what sellers see. They are what people are drawn to. And if you look here where they do the examples on page one, I think it's here, 
you'll see all these stand out. You know, they're either green colours or they've got the blue and they're showing the puzzles and things like that. They are standing out for you to purchase. Um, same with these. They look really good and simple as well. These look simple. So you could see kids' mag magic log logic puzzle. So you can see what that that's like. You need to make numbers there that add up to six or nine and that's how it works so if you don't know how these games work inside the training um ike shows you how to use ai to get the instructions for help duco and sudoku so you can put them in your books because that's often where people have a lot of issues with as well if you are not a person that does those sorts of puzzles. I do, I've never done Help Duco, but I have done those Math Square ones and I have done Sudoku. So I'll probably will go and give Help Duco a try and a, a go. I'll probably start on the simple, nice, easy kids ones and then work my way up. So, but you always need instructions on how to do it and Ike actually shows you that. So what do you get? So in the front end, you get a piece of software that can run either on Windows and Mac, you've seen that in the review, and you get a Calc Duco and Sudoku. In Calc Duco, you get the operations of plus and subtract. You get the ability to export as PNGs, JPEGs, PowerPoint, and SVGs, and you also get 99 um, PDFs that you can actually um, print, you know, export of. So if you keep making mistakes like me, you are limited with those. You may have to stick with PNGs and JPEGs if you run out of those. But if you upgrade to the set $77 extra, so it will cost you $114, and this is during the launch period, then you've got unlimited PDFs. You've also got all the operations that you can use with all of those. So that is uh, Brain Games Prints and you can create two lots of puzzles if you get the front end, if you get the other, if you get the pro version you can create four lots of different puzzles and you can do a lot more with the operandas and things like that and you can also print off as many PDFs as you wish. Again, all the links will be down in the uh, description along with all the information about the front end and any of the upgrades. So if you want to check out the sales page, click on the link below.